Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Sean Coffey. Breaking news from your local election headquarters. Luzerne County election officials will not certify the general election today as planned due to what they're calling a lot of uncertainty. Lead IT reporter Andy Mahalshik joins us live in Wilkes-Barre with the very latest. Andy. And again, no doubt about it, this November 8th the general election has seen so many twists and turns and today yet another, a lot of uncertainty. The board voted two yes, two no, and one abstention not to certify the election results from November 8th. Joining me live now is Alyssa Fusero. She's a member of the Luzerne County Election Board, not the Bureau. The board oversees the Bureau. Alyssa, I've never seen anything quite like this here. I've been here 40 years covering elections. The, the certification did not happen. What happens next now to the vote? Well, I'm sure that our attorneys will weigh in as to the next steps. Um, we will be reaching out to the state. We'll be talking to them as to the next steps uh, to take. I think our biggest concern is making sure that all the votes are counted properly, that every person got the, every voter got the chance to vote. Um, and that was part of our issue is the possibility that some of these people were turned away at the polls. Uh, we still have an open investigation into the paper issue. We have a lot of other questions and concerns as a board that we want answers to. And again, some quick background. There was a paper shortage on the day of election, election day where uh, a court judge ruled to expand voting for two hours. Uh, this is uncharted waters for sure. Could there be a revote? I know that's been discussed also today at the election board meeting. That has been tossed around, and it is a possibility, Andy. We may end up taking this a step further and having a Luzerne County election day. It is certainly something that we will discuss. Okay, Alyssa Vucero, uh, Luzerne County Election Board member. Thank you, Alyssa, very much. Let me talk to attorney Neil O'Donnell. He represents the Democratic Party in Luzerne County. Neil, once again, uh, I've never seen anything quite like this before. Well, what happens next? Well, Andy, it is a bit of uncharted water, but keep in mind, uh, there are problems in, in many elections. So we, we've had situations where there are power outages and votes were voting hours were extended. Judge Gelb's order of November 8 answers a lot of these questions. She gave two extra hours of voting across the county and uh, she also directed that it be done by provisional ballots. And that's crucial because all those ballots can be tracked. At the end of the day, what we're seeing here is a two to two vote with one abstention. I'm hoping that the county uh, legal office can get with Mr. Schramm, who had the abstention. He seemed to have some questions. Hopefully they can answer those questions, come back, uh, have an emergency meeting of the election board, and certify the results. The people have spoken. There are winners and losers. None of these small differentials in how many, poll, uh, how many votes were cast and how many people signed the book, none of them are going to matter in any material way. This election is over. It should be certified. Okay, Attorney Neil O'Donnell, representing the Democratic Party in Luzerne County. Well, much more on the still developing story. Again, the certification uh, did not happen today for the Luzerne County election on November 8th. More throughout the day and, of course, on PAHomepage.com. Sean, back to you. Yeah, very much a developing story, but we appreciate the very latest, Andy. Thank you.